Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be going through my winter hair care routine. I have to say it is my most requested video at the moment, because obviously the cold weather is wreaking havoc on people's hair. So one of the main issues that people have in the winter time is actually maintaining flexibility in the hair, maintaining moisture, and also maintaining definition of hair. Particularly if you've got curly hair, a lot of people find that their hair becomes quite fly away, quite frizzy, um, quite prone to breakage, and basically does not retain styles very easily in the winter time. Um, I know for me in particular, one of the issues that I've had to face is maintaining moisture full stop, as well as maintaining any definition to my hair. And that's because when you're going from the cold, drizzly weather outside, which could be minus something or other, and then you're coming into central heating, that back and forth doesn't help. Obviously, the change in the moisture in the air as well is also not gonna help with your definition. Uh, and one of the things that I have been struggling with of late is a dry scalp. So I found that my current routine has really, really helped. And um, I was really lucky actually because a couple of months ago now I was invited to a care care branch with loads of bloggers that were invited and basically we just had a chance to um, be gifted with some of the products and learn about the products as well and the science behind them and I basically had a bit of a desperate day and I was like right I'm gonna try these products and I have found that three product three yes three products out of all the ones I was gifted have just been holding it down for my hair literally until I get to like day four day five I do not need to do a thing like I might spritz it down with a little bit of a leave-in spray if I feel the need to did I forget to mention that this line is packed full of amla, shikaikai, neem, argan and abyssinian oils, all stuff you guys know that my hair and scalp absolutely love. Um, it was recommended that I used a cream cleanser to cleanse my hair. The trichologist that was there actually saw that my scalp was quite dry and that was because of over shampooing to kind of deal with my uh, low porosity hair and what I had found about that. The first thing I did was I used the cream cleanser that I was recommended did. So this cream cleanser, it actually suds up. So you actually seem like to see like some small bubbles, but really it does feel very, very, very moisturizing to the hair and scalp. And I worked that in with the pads of my fingers at first. And then I use my scalp massager. You guys know I've been using that for some time now, like probably maybe coming up to two years. So that's got sort of silicone like, um, bendy bristles okay so it's very flexible and very very soft and that just gives me that extra lift because obviously I'm not using a clarifying shampoo and I feel like I just want to remove build up and any flakes or any you know dry upper layers of my scalp which is really important scalp health is very very important so you don't want to overkill it though because like over exfoliating can have like the reverse effect of what you want and actually end up with like disturbed surface of the scalp and just not a pretty picture. So I'm very, very gentle with that. And I work the product all the way down my hair. And with this particular product, I don't actually feel a problem with applying the cleanser like lower down the shaft of my hair. I don't really feel like worried that it's gonna dry it out or anything like that. So I, I put that through and I make sure my hair is saturated with water first. And as I'm rinsing out, I am removing any like large knots or any shed hair and just very gently starting the detangling process. Then I go in with my deep conditioner. I apply the deep conditioner very, very generously. I'm working again with my hair in quarters and I want to make sure that every single strand is coated. A lot of the time when people find that their hair is growing in um, a sort of V shape that's like got a dent in the middle that's maybe kind of like a W or when they find that their hair is growing quite unevenly a lot of the time if it's not because their hair has always done that genetically 
a lot of the time it's because of an imbalance in nutrition or because when they're deep conditioning they are not being very thorough in making sure all the strands are coated i remember that um the founder of hair, Le hair lista sunshine she had this problem I tend to apply heat. Today I didn't apply heat because I was in a crazy rush and that is one of the rules I try not to break. But I do, especially in the winter time, apply heat because that actually opens up the cuticles of your hair and allows the goodness of all of your products to really, really, really penetrate the hair. Obviously I still benefited from the products, but if I did have the time, I would have liked to have actually applied heat for an extra 20 minutes just to make sure everything is really able to get into to the deeper layers of my hair. So I allow that to sit for about 20 minutes and during that time I'm detangling my hair, making sure that I start from the ends and work my way back. I lightly detangle first before I actually use my detangler and then obviously I work my way back and after 20 minutes I rinse and then I apply the buttercream. That is it. The thing is with using the buttercream, if I apply that and then I decided to use an oil, I find that my hair doesn't quite have the same volume. Um, if I'm going to be tying my hair away and I'm not really that bothered about the volume, then I will go in with the oil because obviously who doesn't want the extra nourishment? Like avocado oil is awesome. Even if you have fine or straight hair, you can apply an oil like focusing on the ends. Avocado oil and argan oil are fantastic if you have got, oh, and rosehip oil as well. If you have got um, low prosty hair or if you have got fine hair, hair that easily gets weighed down, those are really, really good um, products to actually use. So I've actually not had the need to do that in my hair at all all unless i'm putting my hair in twists maybe for example then i might actually apply an oil straight off the bat of using a buttercream so if you want to know how i go from this wet look to the voluminous hair that you see what i do is i let it partially air dry maybe 40 50 percent whilst i do my makeup and all the bits and pieces i need to get done and then i go in and i diffuse my hair got a video on that by the way if you want to check it out and then I pick my hair out when it's about 90% dry and you get the volume that you see. Yes uh, the shrinkage is so real so real. <laughs> I hope I have answered any questions that you might have had about hair care in the winter. If you have any questions, please do comment below. And I'm so excited. I'm actually gonna be giving you guys a gift. It is the holiday season and I was gonna do a giveaway for my 50K subscribers, but it's time has gone so quickly and we're about to hit 60K. Thank you so much to Care Care for sponsoring this giveaway. Guys, I have a winter hamper to give away and it's going to have a microfiber towel for curly hair. It's so, so gentle. It's almost like using a shirt to dry your hair. Really, really soft. And also there is a bathrobe and one of those sort of eye covers that you get for sleeping and a luxury hot chocolate. Guys, if you live in the UK, you will know that this is like a luxury hot chocolate to keep you warm on those winter nights plus guys you will have your robe and your hair towel personalized for details on how to enter please be sure to check out the description box below you're gonna have to head over to my instagram and be following my instagram and you're gonna have to be following um the avalon um instagram as well but details will be below thank you for watching to the end of the video if you enjoyed this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up up and also subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos i'm sorry if i seem uninterested or i'm not listening or i'm indifferent truly i ain't got no business here but since my friends are here i just came to kick it